Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory, where it's time to set up a constructor, but we need three, what are these called? Reinforced iron plates in order to be able to do so. So let's get those made and get that constructor set up. So we'll grab these and do we have some more iron ore? Yes, we do. Stick that in there. And... What do we need to make those? We need some screws. Let's craft some of those. Alright. And we can craft two of them. Do we need two or do we need three? We needed three. So we need to make some more iron rods. Alright. Whoops. And some screws. And let's make some iron plate as well, just so we have it. Okay. Make a couple more of these. How many do we have? Four. Let's get to six. Because that means that we have enough to set up two constructors if we want to. Alright. So, let's get a constructor and get it lined up uh, somewhat at least with the iron smelter Think. doesn't really matter just want it lined up and I think we do have no we don't have the ability to make the belts yet so let's just grab some iron ingots and stick in here and set it to make iron plate. An iron ingot. Iron ingot. Alright. And we need some power for it. So let's uh, put down a power pole. Uh, we're over here. And hook it up. Alright, that should get that going. Yeah, so we have some automated iron plate production. Okay, that's good. Let's see what we need to upgrade. We need 75 iron plate, 10 cable, 10 concrete, which we already have. So let's stick that in there. We also have the cable and we actually have the reinforced uh, iron plate as well. So we just need regular iron plate. And we almost have enough actually, so that's very nice. So let's go make some more. I know the machine is making some too, but let's just help it. And we'll grab this stuff over here. And let's see, is that enough? I think that was enough. And let's get the hub upgraded uh, one more time. Yes. Fantastic. So new buildings, new parts, and a player upgrade. Congratulations. Excellent. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. So let's see. Eighth objective: hub upgrade, additional power, advice. Conveyor when pull, the conveyor belt. Of buildings, note foundations. The of conveyor belts. Excellent. Caution: overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Fantastic. So, get these out. Do we have more iron ore? We do, but I think we have some more in here. So let's go grab that. Yeah. And stick that in here. Oops. And how is this looking? It's done. Uh, let's go grab some more. Uh, Copper. And keep getting all uh, of this stuff automated. So conveyor belts are going to be really nice, but what we really want is a, is a miner so that we can feed it directly from the ore patch uh, 
uh, into the smelter and into the constructors. That's fun when the fun is really gonna begin. So let's get to that point as fast as we can. Get back here and stick some copper ore in the machine. Uh, from there. Oh, that's iron ore. Copper ore. There we go. And how are we looking over here? We have 17 iron plates. That's not enough. Why doesn't that have power? Are we out of uh, stuff over here? Yes, we are. Let's just... Uh, we can make biomass. I missed that we could already make that. Uh, oh, we're full. Uh, in the last episode, so... Uh, I want to get that done. Carapaces we can take out and we can equip our uh, come on, our Xeno Sapper like that. And let's craft some uh, biomass. This biomass is uh, much more efficient than uh, Uh, than just leaves. So let's get the biomass in here and put the rest in storage so it's not clogging up our inventory. And these flowers too, or leaves it is. Alright, good. And let's come over here and pick up some iron ore and let's go and have a look at what we need to be able to upgrade again which will give us the miner mk1 and storage containers which will be fantastic so 100 iron plates 75 iron rod 20 concrete and 20 cable that should be doable so let's get over here and craft some wire. We'll just craft all of it. We're gonna need it. So on. I love the way the the thing here where you hit craft gets uh, glowing red from the heat of, of working. I think that's quite funny. Alright, cable. I wonder if it can explode or something. Or if it's just a visual thing. How much concrete do we have? We have 10, we need 20, and we can only make 6. We're gonna go, need to go get some limestone. That's okay. We can do that. So let's stick the cable in there concrete that we have, the rods that we have, and the plates that we have. And let's uh, have a look in here. We have some ingots ready. Uh, stick those in here. Grab these 22 plates. And what about over here? Uh, we have some copper over here that we can stick in there. And let's grab these ingots. Alright. Okay, so we need to go over and grab our limestone. Do we have room for that in our inventory? Yes, we do. Over here. Grab. Grab. Back. And then we'll make all the concrete. And then it's just the iron products that we're missing. Which shouldn't take too long. So concrete. Let's make that.
And then we'll make some iron rods. We'll make some iron ingots first and then some iron rods. So that we can get up to the 75 that we need. So we need to be able to make 60. There we go. And then it's just iron plate, which there will hopefully be some ready for us in the machine. And we have 22 here, so we need just 56 iron plate. <clears throat> See how much we have. We have 30. Not enough, but better than nothing. And have some iron ore. And we can make some ingots and make some more iron plate. Okay. We need 54, which we will get. Great. And let's stick those in there and upgrade the hub again all right new buildings and a player upgrade congratulations you have unlocked hub feature additional biomass generator new buildings which can be found in the build menu Nita is very informative but sometimes she talks too much to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Oops. Good luck. Thank you, Ada. Alright, well, so what do we have in here now? Can? And can we do anything here? No. Nope. Okay. I guess it's just for show. But we got another uh, bio burner. So, biomass burner, so that's great. And, uh, we can now make uh, MK1 miners. And for that we need iron rods and a portable miner. So we have portable miners. Uh, we're gonna pick those up anyway when we put the miner MK1 down, I think. So we just need some iron rods. Let's go make those. Just stick these leaves in there. And do we have anything else that we don't need? We don't need that right now. Okay. Fine. Alright. This limestone, one limestone. Great. Uh, okay. Grab these and stick the rest in there. Grab these, those in there, and then run over and get the miner here. We can pick up there, and now we should be able to make an MK1 miner. Yay! And let's just align it properly the way we want it to go. We want to go that way. All right. And we actually still have that one there. I don't know if we're going to need it, but we'll just leave it for now. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. All right. So we want the. We want to make some transport belt to get the iron ore from there and up to our smelter up here. And then uh, we need to power it up, of course. So let's build a, build a power pole. Uh, build it over here. And connect it with the power line. There. There. So that should be going. 
And what is our uh, power line, uh, power consumption at the moment? 9 megawatts, which isn't too bad out of 20 possible, but we have the other biomass uh, burner, which we haven't hooked up yet, so we can get up to 40. Okay, let's see, uh, conveyor belt from there to there. And we want a conveyor belt from down here. To there. And the Ford. Okay. So we need plates. Oh, I can just grab those here, I guess. Uh, yeah. And let's see. Belt. Like so. Fantastic. We have our very first automated process from ore to iron plate. This is great. Okay. But before we move too much further, I think I want to plan out where I want to build my actual base. And I think I want to do it uh, right about here. And uh, let's see. I want foundations. Can I stick them on a key or something? Shift line, maybe? Control? No. Uh, hmm. I don't actually know how to do that. Right, but never mind. So, we will start building a ramp here. And. There, there, over here, and over there. Alright, and then I want the 8 by 2 meter foundation at the bottom here. Don't actually want to go up too high right now. Okay, and I think we will actually want some more of those. No, can't afford, we need concrete, so let's go get some of that. What we could do is actually make sure we have enough for a, another miner and then get concrete automated and or uh, limestone uh, automated mining. And, and bring it up uh, here when we're going there anyway. And we're going to need a lot of stuff for this next, next upgrade, but it'll give us another biomass burner, which is nice. An object scanner, whatever that is. A beacon. And a space elevator. Let's just select the mine milestone, and uh, we will get working on that and so at some point. But first I want to see what do I need to be able to make another miner MK1. I need concrete. And I need uh, an MK1 miner. So it would be really nice if we had some limestone in here, which we do not. Uh, that's too bad. Because we can't actually make the, um, the miner MK1 yet. Because we just don't have the, the limestone to make the concrete. But luckily it isn't too far to get to the concrete, so or to the limestone, so we'll just grab all that, and we will grab all that. And then we will go make some concrete. Actually, let's just try running up here on, on top of the, oops, of the miner, and have a look. This looks pretty okay. Looks like a reasonable area area to me. So, oops. Let's make some concrete. We're gonna need a lot of iron plates as well. So 
So let's um, let's grab some out of here. Because we're gonna need a lot of iron plate to make the conveyor belt get all the way back here. And I think now we just need the yeah the MK uh, the portable miner which we have over here. We'll just grab one of these and then hopefully we can put the MK1 miner down here. It looks very okay, we can. Good. Where do we want it? Put it there. Alright. And we need to make some conveyor belt. Like so. And do we want to go? I think I want. I want to go on the right side of the iron mine here. So, there. And come around this way. Stick it into a conveyor or a, const a constructor. And we'll make that. Now we need some reinforced iron plate. Make some sprues. I think we need some of those. And we need some iron plate. Let's craft some. Enough, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's build a constructor here. And we need iron plate again. Have this. So nice that it's just making it for us now. That is really, really cool. Alright. So we have that going. Now we all just need to power it. Mm. Let's mm. make a power line. Those. And like that. Yeah, and it's not going through rock or something weird, no. And then another power line goes over there, which should mean that we will start producing limestone. Are we? Yes, we are. Outstanding. <clears throat> And then we just need to set the constructor up to make concrete. Concrete. And there we go. Uh, let's see, how does that make us look for power? We need more power. So let's go get this uh, biomass out of here and fill up on that over here biomass and fill up on that over here and I want to connect this to something this okay so that should mean that we now have 40 megawatts of uh, capacity and we're consuming 18 at the moment. Which is a lot, I think. I didn't expect us to be using that much. 
All right. Good, good, good. Uh, I noticed that we have some wood in here, so let's just make that into biomass as well, so we have it on hand if we need it. it all in there and what else do we have on us that we don't really need we would and nothing else I think I'll just uh, eat some of these nuts because we are a little bit wounded so, and then we can stick the last one in there, uh, I can't do that right now, but now I can. So, all right. So we have automated iron plate, we have automated uh, concrete, which is already full, I guess. No, no power. Did I forget to hook it up? Yes, I forgot to hook it up. So, grab a power line from there, there. Now we're producing concrete. 15 concrete permitted, which isn't a whole hell of a lot in my opinion, but it's better than nothing. So let's uh, make some more foundations. That rock is going to annoy me. Okay, we'll have to work around it somehow. We'll just uh, pencil this part. And make it a little bit wider this way. Like that. Can't afford. No more concrete. This is going to take a lot of concrete because this is going to be a big, big, big factory floor. So, yeah, there's that. Let's grab some iron plate out of here. And let's see how much concrete do we have now? 22. So, yeah. Good, and let's uh, fill up what we can for this next uh, hub upgrade. So we need concrete, we need more wire which we can make, we need more iron plate and iron rods. So, hmm. Okay. So let's craft some of this. How many iron rods did we need? 150, Jesus. That's a lot of iron rods. And now that our uh, iron ore smelter is uh, feeding directly into the plate maker. It's not gonna back up and give us a lot of uh, iron ingots to work with. So we're gonna have to handcraft those for now. It's fine. All right, some iron rods, some wire. A lot of wire, we need 170. Could just set a constructor to make wire and then handcraft cable. That's a possibility. Yeah, I think I'll do that.
All right, let's just break these concrete. Okay. So that's the wire done. That's the concrete done. Uh, most of the plates are done, and we're about halfway with the rods. All right. So what we could do once we are done with the plates is set that uh, this up to make rods instead. Yeah, that might be an idea. Stick the plates in there. We still need four more. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Production constructor. We need. Two reinforced. We can't make any of that because we don't have any iron plate or any iron ingot. We'll get some iron plate. And let's run down here and grab the ore out of this one so that we can make some ingots ourselves. And there we go. Make some ingots. And then we'll make rods out of that. Make screws out of the rods. And then I think we can make another constructor, which we can set up to make wire. Once we get another miner going, so that we can get the whole process automated. Uh, iron rods. Those. There. Make some screws. Make two of those, which means that now we can build the constructor. So let's just go do that so we don't steal the material from it. We could actually put it over here on the platform. Mm, no, I don't think I want to do that yet. So let's build the constructor over here. And so so lined up doesn't need to be perfect out here but it does when we get into the factory so iron ingots more iron plate iron rods So that we can get this done. Oh, we need one iron plate. Dang it. All right, let's go get that. There we go. And get an iron plate in there. And we are ready to upgrade again, which will Give us the biomass burner, the space elevator, the optic scanner, the beacon, and another inventory slot. So that is very nice. Upgrade that. <clears throat> Milestone five. Or was it? Congratulations. You have unlocked Pup Feature Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building biomass burner. Building, space elevator, equipment, object scanner, equipment beacon. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. You're welcome, Ada. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. All right. 
Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. We don't know, Ada. No. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Thank you. You're gonna shut up now? Yes, you are. All right, the ma'am. So I want to analyze something. Uh, all right, so let's uh, grab some of this stuff out of here. We can just uh, grab a uh, alien carapace and we can start researching that. All right, and that's going to take seven and a half minutes. Very nice. So research is going. Fantastic. Let's see, what did we get access to here? The space elevator and nothing else really interesting, I think. Didn't we already have the storage container, I think? I think we did. So, okay. And then there was some new equipment. We need to make that over here. Yes, we do. An object scanner. Oh, that's that's expensive. Okay. And beacon. All right. Very very cool. So. I think next time we're going to be focusing on getting uh, more automation going and I think we're going to try and move up on our platform here which is going to be turning into our factory. And our factory is going to be, be big, I can tell you that. So. This is a little bit annoying. It's up to how high. Maybe I should use the four eight by fours to get up a little bit higher. I think I'll have to do that because this is this is not quite high enough to get around this. So yeah, I think I think we need to do eight by fours. Okay, let's just quickly go take a look over here. I want to jump up. Can we get up on our uh, hub? On top of our hub? Yes, we can. I want to do that. Have a quick look at the chaos that is our factory at the moment. But in the near future, hopefully, it'll be the beauty instead. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, satisfactory, I know I'm loving it and um, I'm going to be playing a lot of it so expect to see a lot of this. So yeah, again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.